I'm Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. If you're ever going to watch or share this video, on my channel will help support the awesome bands I feature. And today I'm here with Nodded Daughter. How are you doing today? Hey. It's great to have you. And I want to start off and say, for anyone who's not familiar with the band, you want to give us a little history? So um, Jason and I met about 14 years ago. And we hit it off pretty well. We wrote our first song together 12 years ago when we got married. So background of the band. So we actually did our first debut show in January of 2016. So it's been about five years uh, since we've been performing out. And um, we started out just the two of us writing songs. And by the time we got, you know, our first dozen songs together, we decided to record six of them. And um, right, right when we finished recording, we actually decided to add drums and violin um, to the overall sound of the music because initially we were just doing a duo. Um, so in like 2000, in 2017, we added drums and violin to the band. Um, and we picked up this violin player that was 17 years old. And she went to the Denver School of the Arts. Her name was Mia Asano. And yeah. a little prodigy, like ridiculous, melt your face off, like, you know, um, ridiculousness. And and <clears throat> she, uh, she was kind of humoring us, like by coming and kind of trying out, like, and then she was like, I actually really like your guys' music a lot. <laughs> and so, um, she ended up recording the album with us. Uh, you know, we ended up going out on tour a couple of years, and you know, uh, until a stupid pandemic hit. <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, we're starting to get back in the uh, in the swing of things. You know, working on on the third album now. And uh, yeah, awesome. You have a unique uh, sound and style of music. How would you describe your music to everyone? Well, it's it's a good hot podge of, of um, you know, because I'm a rock and metal guy, and uh, I write a lot of the the, the music, um, the initial structure, and the melodies of the music. Um, but I do it all on an acoustic, so I keep the you know the distorted tones out of it because I don't want to cover up her beautiful voice. It just uh, I, I want to compliment it. I want to write songs that that showcase her talents and uh which is why bringing in a violin player made sense because um you know bringing in some beautiful strings over the top of that was just it was a natural process it it wasn't really planned out it just happened that way and um you know like she's a show tunes you know like classical you know um you know uh singer songwriter type of musician i'm like you're straight like rock guitar player, you know, uh, indie, you know, metal and hard rock guy, you know what I mean? And and it's just, it's kind of a mixture of the style together, you know? I like to call it like Rocky Mountain Folk Alternative Rock. Awesome. And you said you're uh, working on a new record. Is it going to be a similar style of music? Um, It's similar, but... You know, we're actually adding some electric guitars into this one, um, and, uh, kind of moving more like keyboards and a little bit away from the violin. You know, uh, there's still violin, but uh, we're just adding some other different elements into what we're doing. Do you have an idea when that album's going to come out? Probably not until mid to late next year. Uh, yeah. Next year is probably right. Yeah, yeah. If we're going to be realistic, I mean, we'd love it to come out at the end of the year, but we're going to shop it to some labels this time and see if they want to hey, what's up, folks? work hey, with us to release the third album because we'd really like to do the rest of our music justice and have as many people hear it as possible because most people, I would say, enjoy what they hear, but we just don't have the market reach as much we've we extend our bandwidth a little bit we need we need a little bit more reach 
Yeah, that's you got to get the name out because your music is really good. You just got to get people to hear it. Right. I agree. That's why we have you, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of channel fans that are probably like what you're doing. So. Cool. Nice. <laughs> and uh, do you have any shows coming up? We do. We actually have a show on the 23rd of October in Denver um, with a couple of awesome bands, Sharon and the Royals. The Royals is cool. They're, they're um, a cover band, but they play pop songs from the last 20, 30 years, but they do them in, in a metal, si metal style with a female vocalist. It's pretty cool, actually. I make everything metal. Yeah. So they'll do like Britney Spears and like NSYNC and shit like that. But it'll like, be metal. But they'll do it with straight distorted guitars and like just tear it up. You know? <laughs> That's awesome. It is pretty cool. We also have a couple of show. We've got back to back gigs in Idaho Springs, Colorado, the 30 31st for Nawain, or in Nordic culture, it's called Alflot. It is when the would sacrifice a cow to the elves. It was really interesting when I was looking at the background and history on that one. Um, and then we've got one more show up in Johnstown, Colorado on the 6th of November. And then Parker. Oh, and then we've got Parker. We're opening up for Crash Karma on November 26th. So. And check them out too. It's a, it's a husband wife duo. It's just the two really of them. Cool. She plays guitar and sing, or plays drums and sings, and he plays guitar and sings. And they're absolutely incredible. They're called Crash Karma. You got to check wow. them out. Sounds like there's a lot going up. I used to actually live out west in Kansas, and I used to go to Colorado a lot. And it's a really good music scene out there. Oh, yeah. Like, there's so much great talent out here. It's, it's great. And there's a lot of good venues, too. Tons of good venues. Yes, a lot of venues. <laughs> so now, if people want to find you online, look you up on social media, get your music, how do they do that? Um, pretty much at Nordic Daughter. So you type in the website, you go forward slash Nordic Daughter, you get me there on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can also go to NordicDaughter.com and all of our social media links are at the bottom of every web page. And I also have a hard rock band. I sing and play guitar for it's called something for tomorrow and you can find that at something for tomorrow.com we've got a youtube channel just look up something for tomorrow uh facebook you can look look up something for tomorrow as well um instagram you know well, where would you like to see the future of the band maybe in a few years from now right well i think where we see ourselves in a couple years is touring Seeing places around the world that we've never seen and being able to entertain people with all of our original songs. Though we understand most people like to hear covers. <laughs> <laughs> We're also gonna do some massive drum circles and like some some a little bit of pyrotechnics with some fire uh, spinning and uh, so just some interesting um, you know the theatrics that yeah, I recently was gifted a fire staff. So, hi, ah, Korea. Um, yeah. And we're going to uh, practice that a little bit more. That's the best when you go to a show and there's natural production and a performance with, you know, theatrical right. elements. If you're a Nordic Daughter show, you're getting a show. You're not just yes. getting a couple people up there strumming strings and hitting ends you know it's it we're gonna give you a show so yeah and we've built up all the way to like a six-piece band at this point we've got bass drums guitar keys violin and vocals so and, and kazoo kazoo i'm just joking we, we don't we don't kazoo. play this kazoo <laughs> so we might have a saxophone in our future we'll see well it, it adds so much to the band having, having that i know <laughs> You can get so much. Well, and we've got some really good songs that are coming your way. The reason that it's going to take us a little longer to release this third album is because, like I said, we're shopping it to labels, and we've got a song on it that's getting pitched to Warner Brothers right now for a series. So we've got um, we've got some really exciting things, 
and we can't wait to see you guys. All right, now are you in Northern California too? No, I live in New Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. Nice. We haven't toured the East Coast yet, but don't worry, we're coming your way. Yeah, maybe you come out here. I'll come out and see you. It'll be cool. And then we'll do another follow up in person. That sounds awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. What, well. what else you got, Nagy? <laughs> I'm back in the field now because uh, I've been doing all these interviews on Skype, so now I'm going out to different concerts and getting face to face with the bands again. So it's it's fun. Oh yeah, that's the best part. I think it's getting to actually connect with all of the musicians and learning about how they operate and just connecting. I think that type of connection is really cool. So I hope to connect with you in person too. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you come out east, we'll, we'll do this again. Absolutely. It's nice to meet you, and thank you for having us on. Yeah, yeah, it's good having you, and I look forward to what you're doing in the future, and everybody look them up. Nice. <laughs>